the problem is happening to bring to your notice some unbecoming and dangerous attitude in the public space that is unfortunately driving some media houses alone. Some political delis or careers indulging in many work of character assassination have lately been let loose dubiously on steadily to soil the name of a presidential candidate, Peter Gabriel Obi. At the forefront of this malicious passage job is Mr. Abayomir Arabandi, who dubiously continues in the evening to identify himself as the Labour Party and Community Secretary of the Labour Party when he knows he is not a member of the Labour Party. At this point, let me make it more categorical clear. Mr. Obiora, who is by this particular left side of the world, is the Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party and is already been mandated by the National Executive Council of the Labour Party. No other person at whatever time was ever mentioned as a Labour Party Publicity Secretary. Mr. Obiora, thank you very much. After a series of judgments from the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria concerning the Labour Party, everything about factionalization crisis in the party was laid to rest. But to our greatest shock in the party, many media houses continue to link expel non member of the party as a member, trying to unsuccessfully and needlessly to create a wrong impression about the party. Mr. Arabi has been going about merchandising with the name of the party and endlessly castigating our flag bearer, who we are proud to say is the most popular and loved Nigerian politician of today, especially in the hands of the Nigerian youth. Gentlemen of the press, as we go about using the name of the party, none of them has said anything positive about Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the party, they claim they speak in for or the party at all. Instead, they have even been more pressured against Peter Obi, and their sponsors are yet to claim that they are Labour Party members. It is not time the media houses stop black it is not time that the media houses start blacklisting them for wearing the devil's coach and speaking on the same platform of the Labour Party. None of them or their family members voted for Peter Obi. It is not yet time to leave, it's not the time to leave them out of this particular heinous crime against the innocent soul of Peter, Peter Obi. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Obi, in his capacity as the Labour Party standard bearer, had a press conference. And innocently advised the embedded children, Wala Abedin, to rest the issue of certificate for doing around him and save the country for that embarrassment by reintroducing himself and putting the record straight. Remember, while other people are trying to shift the post and change the narrative, the issue in our court and the CSU is simple. That a person presented, a person of Bola uh, presented a certificate that was not recognized by an institute in which he played the comfort. That is the matter. Any other thing is certainly a simple patriotic advice that was made to inform and believe that the party in question that the ABC would take as an advice for national development. But their hands and footprinters and all less advantage prefer to insult our candidate with his fabrication. In one of his pieces of fact fiction, they claim that Obi was impersonating his dead Monsignor brother. A farce, a slapstick, a comedy from the pit of hell, if I may mention. The Monsignor brother of Peter Obi is still alive. And Sino brother who died was a student in University of Nigeria, Nsuka, years ahead of Obi, 
and read computer science, one could be read philosophy. So both of them were in the same school at the same time. So therefore, there is no issue of impersonation. And I'll be also playing as his shadow chases him that Obi is after his life. This is not an allegation because Obi is harmless. The position to all kinds of violence in politics. All of you can hear with this that he has always maintained a calm position, even at the slightest prov provocation. Gentlemen of the press, I can appreciate the frustration of some who help sayers and ostensibly to do a mental job against somebody and after sweeping around the whole places and unable to find anything. He decided to indulge in concussion to keep his venereal interest alive. As we kept charging people to go ahead and verify his past, a Peter Obi at 45 years ago was instantly unveiled last weekend by a long less than a person than Pope Ambassador Papel Lotchu to the Czech Republic in a legal advice of Jews, Theodos Okoro. Speaking of the court, he in fact gave the testimony that our President Kathy Peter Obi has remained consistent in caring for the society for many decades now, stating that it is in Peter Obi's nature to help and care for those around him. And Richard Popolo shared the testimony at the meeting during his 40th presidency and university time of living. And 15 years ago, as not you, he stated that Peter Obi did not develop his caring nature presently. But has consistently shown that kindness and empathy in his lifestyle. In 1970, he recalled while he was a school teacher at All Hope Seminary, Odisha, before proceeding to Bigger Memorial Seminary, Edogo. During that period, he decided to visit his younger brother, Jerry Ogo, at the Christ King College, Odisha. The dear principal of the college, Reverend Father Nicola, told me of blessed memory, gave him something of milk and packet of business to give to his senior brother. When he was handed the item to his brother, he said that he should not have bothered that he has enough of biscuit and milk. That his classmate, Peter Gregory, will be normally go to supermarket bringing a carton of milk and sharing with all of his classmates. While showing admiration of Peter Obi's character, lack of care and empathy towards humanity, the Archbishop urged him to continue to do the same in the service of our nation. This is the man they are struggling to bend his image, but they have not done anything damaging against him, but rather have resulted to cooking up lies and fabrication. The National Public Secretary of our Labour Party was on TV in the person of Obiora, Obiora, who continued to speak as the National Public Secretary of our party. And we call on all the press to take note of this particular very important position that nobody has been mandated to speak on behalf of the Labour Party when it comes to the issue of National Public Secretary aside from our Public Secretary. We think it is time now that every person should take note and count these people as imposters as the party will do due diligence next and forth on issues concerning this. Probably this will be the last time we will respond to these particular imposters because we feel that continuous to find them is putting them more in the limelight and this will have a stop. As has been said by uh, the spokesperson, they are near islands, not to be taken too seriously. They are Bukadians, they are doing many jobs. They are messengers. So sometimes we sympathize with them. They are humble people, still don't have any image, nothing to protect. So they can go about the same kind of thing. Sometimes we think out about neglecting them, not ignoring them. But sometimes, because of the respect we have for the Bukadian people, we need to use of this energy. And then that is the reason for the press conference. As to a negative, yes, if I could be able to say something, 
But sometimes, you don't hear the text, so they have to put that and then I